Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about WikiLeaks. Uh, in January, the FBI contributed to an IC assessment that concluded that WikiLeaks is a known outlet of foreign propaganda. Do you stand by that assessment? Yes. Do you believe that WikiLeaks has released sensitive and classified information? Yes. Do you believe any of WikiLeaks disclosures have endangered American lives and or put at risk American interests? I believe that both have been the result of some of their releases. Can you help me understand why Julian Assange has not been charged with a crime? Well, I don't want to comment on the particular case because I don't want to confirm whether or not uh, there are charges pending. He hasn't been apprehended because he's inside the Ecuadorian embassy in London. I uh, sent a letter to the Attorney General a number of weeks ago asking questions about the status of the investigation, and it seemed pretty clear, though individuals were polite and kind and responsive to our request, it seemed that across the IC there wasn't much deliberation uh, about WikiLeaks and about Julian Assange and this question. Is the FBI participating in any interagency dialogue about whether or not Assange has committed crimes? I don't know where you got that impression, but WikiLeaks uh, is a important focus of our attention. Um, I intentionally left the almost half of my time for you to sort of wax broadly for a minute. Uh, there is room for reasonable people to disagree about at what point an allegedly journalistic organization crosses a, a line to become some sort of a tool of foreign intelligence. There are Americans, well-meaning, thoughtful people, who think that WikiLeaks might just be a journalistic outfit. Can you explain why that is not your view? Yeah, and again, I want to be uh, careful that I don't prejudice any future proceeding. Uh, it, it's an important question because all of us care deeply about the First Amendment and the ability of a free press to get information about our work and, and publish it. To my mind, it crosses a line when it moves from being about trying to educate a public and instead just becomes about intelligence porn, frankly, just pushing out information about sources and methods without regard to um, interest, without regard to uh, the First Amendment values that normally underlie press reporting, and simply becomes a conduit for the Russian intelligence services or some other adversary of the United States just to push out information to damage the United States. And I realize reasonable people, as you said, struggle to draw a line, but surely there's conduct that's so far to the side of that line that we can all agree there's nothing that even smells journalist about some of this conduct. So if, if you could map that continuum, there are clearly members of the IC that have at different points in the past leaked classified information. That is an illegal act, correct? Correct. When American journalists court and solicit that information, have they violated any law by asking people in the IC to potentially leak, to leak information that is potentially classified? That conduct is not treated by the U.S. government as criminal conduct. Now, I've been asked in other contexts, isn't it true that the espionage statute has no carve out uh, for journalists? That's true, but at least in my lifetime, the Department of Justice's view has been news gathering and legitimate news reporting is not covered, is not gonna be investigated or prosecuted as a criminal act. That's how it's thought of. So uh, a, an investigative reporter taking advantage of and celebrating the liberties that we have under the First Amendment at the Washington Post or at the Omaha World Herald or at the Lincoln Journal Star or at the New York Times, trying to talk to people in the IC and get the maximum amount of information that they possibly can out of them to inform the public. It is not the burden of an American journalist to discern whether or not the member of the IC is leaking information that might be classified. The journalist can legitimately seek information and it's not their job to police it. The member of the US IC that leaks classified information has broken a law. Right. The, right. the clear legal obligation rests on those people who are in, in the government in possession of, of intelligence, classified information. It's not the journalist's burden. Okay. It, the, our focus is and should be on the leakers, not those that are obtaining it as part of legitimate news gathering. So I want, I want to hear this part one more time, and I know that the chairman has indulged me. I'm, I'm at and past time. But the American journalist who's seeking this information differs from Assange and WikiLeaks how? In that... There's at least a portion, and people can argue that maybe this conduct WikiLeaks has engaged in in the past that's closer to regular news gathering, but in my view, a huge portion of WikiLeaks' activities has nothing to do with legitimate news gathering, informing the public, commenting on important uh, public controversies, but it's simply about releasing classified information to damage the United States of America. And, and, and people sometimes get cynical about journalists. American journalists do not do that. They will almost always call us 
before they publish classified information and say, is there anything about this that's going to put lives in danger? that's going to jeopardize government people, military people, or, or innocent civilians anywhere in the world, and then work with us to try and accomplish their important First Amendment goals while safeguarding those interests. This activity I'm talking about, WikiLeaks, involves no such considerations whatsoever. It's what I said to intelligence porn. Just push it out in order to damage. Thank you.